<clears throat> All right. Oh, took my glass off before I do that. Man, this is going to be a tough one. So I need a pure pomegranate. Pure. That's it. Ingredients. Organic pomegranate juice. That's it. Certified by blah, 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 blah. Nothing else. Pomegranate. Good for blood pressure and stuff like that. Well, you know. I told you about pomegranate before. Good stuff. See, I don't refrigerate my juices before I put them in. Actually, you should, when you drink stuff like this, ooh, I got pomegranate one. When you drink stuff like this, what you need to do, see, pomegranate, you can't, bro. You shouldn't do a whole, damn, everything is falling all over the place. You need to get no. Oh, here. Oh, this. Now, pomegranate will stain. But, you know, the thing is, uh, the pomegranate juice is like this. It's pure. You're not supposed to be drinking a whole, like, chug, 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 chug. That's why they put all that sugar in there and that water, because you actually pay for sugar and water. So if you have something that's pure, the reason why it, it, it costs so much is because they haven't they haven't diluted it to make... You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh... Oh, no, I got the, sorry, man, sorry, no, I should have got the, I got the trash right here. <laughs> um, but, you know, when, when you drink, man, something like this, uh, stuff's supposed to go into your body at, at, at body temperature, okay, well, well, you know, whatever. Not cold, because when you put something cold, it shocks your system, you know? Mm. Strong, too. Don't have it too sweet, either. Oh, look what I got. I got a, a, a coupon when I was taking the um, Amtrak before. They give my ticket. They gave a coupon, a dollar off this kind of oral rinse. I do oral rinse at, at well, when I went to the dentist, I had my teeth extracted a couple of weeks back, well, about three, whatever, back. And they had gave this thing to rinse your mouth out with, blah, 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 blah. And so um, I had this, well, what do you call that? I had this coupon. So I said, well, when that ran out, I said, well, let me continue. You know, so I flushed my mouth. Every once in a while, with this product here, it's supposed to be protects from plaque and tartar, freshens breath, fights gingivitis for 24 hours. That, that thing they said you were supposed to do it twice a day, so I guess, you know, once uh, reduces occurrence of gum disease and bleeding gums. No alcohol, artificial flavors, or colors. Dr. Harold Katz, called Clean Mint. I'm not really into mint. Oh, there's Dr. Harold right there. He got his picture on the head. What the heck? I'm not actually advertising, I just had it up there. Just in case, I didn't even say what the name was, so if you can read it, that's good. So, the reason why I'm drinking some strong, something strong, because mm, I have a strong suggestion. Where's my glass of that? Put on my, put my revolutionary clothes, man. I'm actually not a revolutionary, I'm an evolutionary, but I'm a revolutionary in, 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 uh, in culture. In fact, if you go to if you go to my static website, static means I don't I don't mess with it. I just put it open. I don't mess with it no more. If you go to my static website, ajsloan.name, ajsloan, S L O A N, S is in sense, S is in spectacular. You know, Sloan. Dot name, N as in Nancy, A M as in Mary, E as in Echo. Put that military thing in there. N A M E. And then you can go backslash resume. If you go to the resume page, you'll see a picture of me, right? I thought glass was on. I think, uh, what cap do I have on? Yeah, I think I got this cap on the black side. See, because see, this is my, everybody think, this is my Ogun cap. See, it's green on one side and then on the other side. And you flip it over, it's, 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 it's black. And then, you know, the little red, that's Ogun. Ogun is, is, is they, well, in the North American, come up through Cuba strain. It's, uh, the color, it changes from blue, and then, then I think in, I think in, uh, in condom blade, it's, it's blue and white. And then when you come up through the Cuban strain up to North America, it's basically black, uh, green with a bit of red. So this is my Ogun cat. So when you see I have this on, I'm not being no whatever, communist, common, co communist. I'm not being one of those. I'm being, I'm in war mode. You know? <laughs> no, that's not true. Hmm. One more thing about Ogun. I repeat this all the time. Ogun is not just the warrior. Everybody says the warrior. Oh, they got the grass skirt and then the machete, you know, the iron. Remember, it's iron. He's the one that did the iron thing. It's also healing. You know, like your surgical equipment, you know, your, 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 you know. So, Ogun is both war and healing and some people, well, also architect. They're planning out. Plan out. Not not planning out like, um, 
like uh, uh, like Shango. Shango is like the general playing out the war and stuff like that. But uh, the Ogun is playing out like, like when 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 the Orishas first came down, he's the one. They never give Ogun credit, right? He's the Orisha that that cut the to cut the uh, the grass, you know what I mean? Cut the way, cut the way, so it wouldn't grow back as fast. Because every time they used to come through, they used to come through and need the grass, and they couldn't make it through. So Gugu said, "See, Gugu was just missing, you know, in his cave, just been, you know, just well, someplace, just chilling, right? You know, feeding his dogs and stuff like that." Said, "Gugu, we can't make it to Earth. Oh, please help us, Gugu." Oh man, so good, so good. Let me get some iron. Okay, okay, y'all make it through, fine. <laughs> I'm going. You'll do what you need to do, right? That's a goon, right? So it's the planning, the architecture, it's uh, it's medicine, it's healing, and it's war. Everybody knows about war because they only. Why do people only have? Look, can I say something? Can I say? Let me just say something right now. Everybody keeps on saying uh, Trump is a, is, a, is a white supremacist, uh, and then it was also of course <laughs> he he say white supremacist stuff. And he and he advocates white supremacy, and you know, so he got that streak in him. Oh, but, but Biden is well, he's a, he's he has done, he has put white supremacist policy in place, racist white supremacist policy in place. So you got those two. But here's the thing: stop focusing on the white supremacy thing. Okay, I shouldn't say that because I can't tell you all what to do because y'all don't listen to nothing. What they both are, in fact, Trump more than anything, they're corporatists. Yeah, they're also white supremacists. But what drives them right now is not their supremacy, not their policy, it's their, their, their allegiance to the corporation. They're corporatists. <laughs> First of all, okay, let me say how they, they say it in, in uh, uh, what's called uh, uh, NGO world, and in, 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 what do we call it? Anyway, in, in the academic world. First and foremost, they're corporatists. Yes, they're also old white people, they're old, you know, traditional um, uh, racist white supremacist or Anglo-racist white supremacist, they're, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're sexual predators, they're, they're a bunch of things. But why do you just focus on the white supremacy part? Why? The thing that's affecting you right now is not their white supremacy. Okay, you say this, but I'm not saying. What's affecting you both is their corporatistness. <laughs> their injusticeness. <laughs> But anyway, talk about justice. Here's the thing. Here's why I'm coming to you today, right? I like to say coming to you today. That's, that's Antonio Moore does that. And, you know, bless Antonio. Uh, uh, you know, ADOS, Antonio Moore, ADOS, attorney, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yo, but, you know, I saw a on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, and I do these little things, and I did one this morning that I'm going to expand on right now. I did one this morning because uh, a few days ago, uh, uh, somebody sent me a link on Instagram uh, but no, no, do my uh, the, the black man sent it to me on do my email uh, about this 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 rapper uh, uh, Yellow Pain and he's been around for a while and that boy man in in less than ni in ninety seconds he explains the whole ed the whole voting system because people say uh you know uh vote, go vote go vote everybody says go vote so yeah okay what does that mean people usually go vote and I just I was just talking to my spiritual advisor talk about uh, talk about Ogun and and, and the Arisha. my spiritual advisor just the other day. And he was saying, yeah, people vote, but they only vote for president, you know, they might, you know, governor or whatever, the, the Congress, 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 and they might vote for mayor, whatever it is. They don't understand. A ballot is a ballot. That is your, when they say they're going to take a poll, when they, our latest poll, our exit poll, no, the real poll is what you write in, I mean, what, your, your, your ballot, right? So anyway, so um, uh, Yellow Payne explains the, the down ballot situation. People going to say, vote down ballot, and nobody's saying anything, what that means, you know? So, so T Pain was explaining that like less, less well, his, the, the clip is, is rather his song is more than whatever. And he's got a lot of other really very positive stuff. I like that boy. You know what I mean? He like you know, you know every generation has their things. You know, like like for instance, I say, for instance, um, what's the um, uh, Tupac? Tupac was like you know the rappers, the the, the, the Malcolm X of, of rap, right? But then his legacy carries on because you don't just have these thoughts. You're not the only person to have these things. And then you had KRS One, you know KRS One. So for me, uh, Yellow Pain is like a continuation. It's like a, a amalgamation of, of KRS One and and Tupac. You know, West Coast, East Coast, if you want to put it that way. You know what I mean? Anyway, just leave, 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 leave Yellow Pain alone right now. But then I saw this thing: the the, the strippers, the, the pole dancers. Let's call them the pole. The dancers, the exotic dancers, like like they say in Independence Day, like like uh, you know, Vicar Jess Fox, you know, her character. Saying, 
the exotic dancers, right? They, 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 they start self, you know, they're, they're, just, they're three of them. They're big, they say, real black women, you know? And they pull, and then they say, now that we got your attention, you know, go vote, right? But then they explain. They, say, they don't go, they don't, they didn't even dwell on no, you know, president or congress or nothing like that. They say, you know, hey, they say the same thing as Yellow Pain is saying, which is like, Hey, you want the the, the, the sheriff? You know I me mean? that blocky the 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 the, 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 the school, but they he, they do that that level. So what I'm looking at is the big people, those people, those so called your leaders, your academics, you know, your people with their platforms, you know, with the, oh vote, no, you gotta vote. They try to sheeple you into you know whatever they're doing. Those people ain't saying that. Do I got the most from not not even not even your, your not even ADO as they keep on saying vote down by they're not they're not, they're not sh actually showing you what that is you know what I mean I guess they will sooner or later okay I'm not you know, let me let me leave that alone so the only two in the last just just me because I can only see everything but in the last week the only two segments of society who has shown me what they mean by voting and vote down ballot is the strippers. And the rapper, the conscious rapper, go figure, you know? So, so now we got this straight. Let me just tell you something. Okay, now, I had this thought. I get thoughts all the time. Sometimes they're good. Most of the time they're spectacular, because I have spectacular thoughts. Sorry? Hmm. Wow. Pomegranate. East. Um, because the Supreme Court justice thing. And I was going... And I had to remember from a long time ago that there are no qualifications for Supreme Court justice. I'm serious. I mean, you don't have to be a natural, you don't have to be a, 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 a native to America. You don't have, there's no age requirement. There's no professional re re requirement, whatever have you. There are no requirements. In other words, an eight-year-old can, can be selected for the Supreme Court of the United States of North America. I'm serious. There's no requirements. Really. The only thing that's happened is all these years, you know, the, the law people, you know, actually specifically people from, from Harvard, you know, specifically Harvard, but Yale, yeah, you know what I mean, they sort of cabal the, the, the what they have that, 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 what do you call that club, the, 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 the Republicans started to do, the, some kind of the, the Republic, not... Sometimes, uh, I don't know, something they, they got, they have to vet these people through that before they let them go on to the next level, right? Anyway, so, uh, so what happens is the law people, they just hijack the Supreme Court. You, you, know, you could be a farmer and be a Supreme Court a justice, right? I mean, back then when you, was, you only lived to 30 or something like that, we could change that. We can just say, you know, you can only serve in the Supreme Court for two consecutive uh, sentences, or sentences, two consecutive terms of, say, 18 years. That would be like, you know, so that means 38 years would be, is that 30? Whatever it is. It would be the maximum you can serve consecutively. Then you have to step off for, say, 18 years. Then you can come back on. Something You can make it so like that. But the point is, you know who I nominate for Supreme Court? Now, here's the trick. Now, it's not a trick. I'm serious about this. And, 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 and well, we, we don't say I'm serious because we have these so-called revolutionaries and these high thinkers and they never game the system the way the law people, the, the academics and law, you know, those, those people have gained the system. The way your, your corporatists have gained the system. Here's the way I want to game the system. You ready for this? Hold on to your whatever you got to hold on to. I select for the Supreme Court of the United States of North America... Mumia Abu Jamal. No one, there is no, you cannot, there's no, what a perfect justice. He knows the system in and out. He was a, he, he was a journalist, you know. He knows the system in and out. He's a thinker. Forget all that. It doesn't matter. His qualifications is that. He's an American citizen. <laughs> My selection for Supreme Court Justice of the United States of North America is Mumia Abu Jamal, currently serving jail term. That's it. Now, I defy any of you, any of you people that, that, that have highfalutin ideas, you know, your, your, all your media people, all your, you know, your whatever, your academics. 
to challenge me on that. Tell me I'm, if, if I'm not wrong. How come you're not jumping on that? See, because the corporation can always put more stuff down the pipe to, to jam you up than to free you. I need, let me send a letter to Noel Hanahan or some communication to Noel Hanahan. You know, let me, like, let me call somebody. I, I know what I do. I got I to gotta do something. Anyway, so that's my, that's, that's my little thingy, you know, just to let you know. You, let you know that you can select the Supreme Court justice. And it doesn't have to be some lawyer cat, you know what I mean? Somebody that, that's twisted the law and made, made whole lot of big words to mean nothing, right? Just to let you know. A little message from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect about the law and justice. <laughs>